Oh, snap. Not recording. It started with the rhyme book in the sixth grade. What's up, world? My name is MC Jin, and you are watching Google TV. things would turn out this way. Center of attention, bright lights, the big stage. Due to my complexion, they kept an eye on me. Should have did the math earlier. Now that's I. The album's called Nobody's Listening. But the two songs that I felt like, man, I want to release these kind of in advance, like as singles and also shoot videos for, was uh, the first one was called Rhyme Book. And Rhyme Book, I felt like if I had to pick one song out of the whole project to kind of tell people where my mind is at creatively, I felt like it was Rhyme Book. Now the other song, Timberlake Your Love, really different vibe from Rhyme Book. So Tim, I mean, even the name of the song, Timberlake Your Love, the first thing that I usually hear people ask is like, what the heck does that mean, right? So Timberlake as in Justin Timberlake? And I'm like, yeah, Justin Timberlake, the one and only. So Timberlake Your Love really is just about kind of the first thing I say at the top of the song is it doesn't matter if the world knows that we're in love as long as we know we're in love. streets in the flesh I've been the underdog but never unprepared stop saying your joint bangs so the very standard answers uh, Nas LL Cool J definitely one his song specifically the song uh, I'm gonna knock you out mama said knock you out and I heard that when I was 12 and then you know as I got older too definitely I think anybody would know, and I'd be lying if I didn't say Eminem was a big influence. Right off the top of my head, one is um, Black Thought from The Roots. Who else is kind of a new guy that... Oh, there's this guy named uh, Lil Dicky. Oh. <laughs> Lil Dicky is like an amazing artist. Okay, well maybe something that's not as commonly known is... Um, I really like reading. I really like reading. I really like reading. Like, as a kind of like for recreation, I like reading. Wow, that's a great question. Now that I'm a believer, at least once a week, I watch Kugel TV. <laughs> I think one thing, definitely after growing in my faith and becoming a believer, as you mentioned, uh, I think for the first time, I really learned what it means uh, to have gratitude, but like real gratitude. Number one, it, that disappointment goes away a lot faster. And then not only does it go away a lot faster, I actually get filled up with this unexplainable sense of like peace and in a weird, like kind of like unexplainable way, like joy even, that I didn't get it. So that, that type of gratitude is a gratitude that I never used to even understand or knew you could be. His plan is better than mine, even if it doesn't look like it. It started with the rhyme book in the sixth grade. Hey, what's up? I'm MC Jen. I just want to shout out everybody that came out tonight to, uh, I got a lot more music on the way. Check me out, uh, mcjen.com, and shout out to Kugel TV. Should have did the math earlier, now that's irony. No need for comparing stats. Question is, would they have cared if I was black?